What's going on guys, I'm Dan, this is Santa Waters, and today I have a review for you from the House of Parfums de Marley. But before we go any further, how about you hit the like button, hit the subscribe, and hit that bell. So one of Parfums de Marley's fairly new releases, which I think it was the latest release, and they have another one coming out, which I'm very excited for, Pegasus exclusive. But the latest release from Parfums de Marley that I have is Kalan. Look at that dope red bottle. In my opinion, it's a very nice clean bottle that I felt that I needed in my collection, mainly for the color. The scent came in a little bit second, but the color of the bottle, it just had to be in my collection. If anybody has had any of the Parfums de Marley fragrances, you already know the bottle style when it comes to the men's fragrances, and also the cap, which is a projectile weapon. So, you know, I gotta hold it out here while tossing this thing up because if it falls and lands on my foot, ER, I go. But when it comes to the scent itself, the controversy is it smells like Baccarat Rouge 540, like a clone, on a take of Baccarat Rouge 540. Some people say they smell it, some people say they don't. My take on it, first of all, look at the sprayers. Still pretty dope. Let me make it clear. The first time I smelled this and everybody was saying that it had, like it was a clone of Baccarat Rouge 540. Yeah, I agreed. I thought, man, this is a take on Baccarat Rouge 540. But honestly, that was the only time I ever thought that it smelled back, like Baccarat Rouge 540. When it came to it drying down and, and actually developing, I figured that it, it's its own scent. Before I get into all that, how about I give you the notes? For the top notes, you have blood orange, saffron, and black pepper. For the mid notes, you have lavender and orange blossoms. And for the base, you have woody notes, amber, tonka bean, sandalwood, and moss. So, the Baccarat Rouge 540 vibe, like I said, I only smell that at the beginning, but in my opinion, this is its own fragrance. The blood orange in this is very dominant in this fragrance, actually throughout the whole fragrance, in my opinion. This, it has the saffron in it, which I can kind of see why people would say it's a Baccarat Rouge take, but in my opinion, it's so faint, especially after smelling it more than just the first time. It's its own fragrance. This is not a clone, in my opinion. Some people hate this fragrance. Some people say that it smells herbal. I respect all their opinions and decisions, but for me, this fragrance smells like nothing like Baccarat Rouge 540, and I actually like this fragrance a lot. It's a heavy enough fragrance that I feel works great for the spring and lightly on the summer, if you spray heavy, like lightly enough, but when it comes to fall and winter, it's a uh, creamy and heavy enough fragrance that I feel that it'll still work in those situations. I actually sprayed it on my son today and he was in cool, he was in a cool temperature environment and it was still pumping off of him very, very well. So in my opinion, I feel like this is a multi-season fragrance. Kalan, I feel is a hater love it fragrance. I like it, some people didn't. When I wore it the few times at work, a lot of people loved it. They had nothing bad to say about it and got a lot of unsolicited compliments but there were also people that didn't like it. So it's a hated love it fragrance in my opinion. When it came to the projection and longevity, I got like about two and a half to three hours of projection longevity of eight hours plus. Easy to 10 hours, but eight hours plus. Me giving this a scale rating one out of 10, I give this a good solid eight. I like the fragrance a lot. The bottle alone makes me want this fragrance and all I wanted in my collection just for the look of it. But when it comes to the scent alone, I give it an eight. I like the fragrance a lot, it's dope. It's not gonna please everybody, but it pleases me. Kalan, my opinion, is a solid fragrance. Definitely decant worthy or sample worthy. So there you go, guys. That's my take on Kalan. Let me know in the comment section, have you smelled this fragrance? Have, or do you have it? What's your thought about it? What you think about the whole hype and it's being compared to Baccarat Rouge 540? Do you get that vibe? Let me know in the comment section if you wanna be entered for a decant of Kalan and boom, you're in. Just like, comment, and subscribe. Kalan from Parfums de Marley. Solid scent in my opinion, but at the end of the day, still scent of water.